Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we know, well, we haven't really talked about much about America recently because everything in America has gone so fast, so crazy, and so mental within the past two, three months. It has gone absolutely crazy to follow. But the one thing everyone is very aware of what's been going on is everything between Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and rioting, and protests, defund the police, and Joe Biden, and the Democrats. It's a, it's a whole heap of mess. Sorry, but it's a whole fucking mess. Like, it's between one thing or another. Because we know cities in America are going absolutely nuts. New York City is going under a massive problem between fake news, reality, and clickbait. Not a joke, that is literally kind of what it is to sum this up. We're not going to be talking about NYC, but there's many places such as uh, Seattle, where the city of CHOP was created and destroyed, where a bunch of socialists decided to create their own city inside the city of Seattle. Because that made so much sense. And it got, finally got taken down. Um, California has gone into complete lockdown again. But it's like, they say the virus exists everywhere. But it's like they're acting like this happened to them the first time. Like this picture here, where these people in 1918 was getting told how to, you must wear a mask or be killed. I don't know if, I exa if that's exaggeration, or if that's actually reality of back in 1918. That is nearly over a hundred years old, a hundred and two years ago when that picture was taken. But the one city that has never, never changed for the last nine years has been the city of Portland, Oregon. Now, before I say anything else about Portland, Oregon, I know two people that moved from Scotland to Portland, Oregon. I don't know why they went to Portland. I only figured about this the other day and I was like, shit. These two people, that have, they're, they're both Scottish. One of them, uh, their dad, one of the guys, that his dad works in America or something like that. So they said they're going to go over there and you know, live their life over there. No problem at all. Great thing to do that. Go and live the American dream and live over there. The, they're not sure what the guy's doing right now, but the girl has started a job, a YouTube channel. I'm not going to mention it because she is not going to get scrutinized by my efforts, but all good on their part for doing that. But Portland, Oregon. Portland has been under siege for fucking ages. For the last 10 years, 9, 10 years, uh, Portland has been a hub for middle class socialists to thrive. Uh, SJWs, Antifa, um, there's been massive amounts of protest. I'm not going to go over the history of Portland itself, but if you watch this video, which I'll link in the video below, with uh, Paul John Watson, I believe his name is, great videos he makes now. I think he's made over a million subscribers now. It's great. Go and watch how this is how Portland is from years ago. Remember, this footage was taken years ago when we had all the fucking problems starting to arise in 2014, 15, 16. This is where it all started. to protests. In this example, one of the city's many crazy lunatics escapes an asylum and starts acting out. Great, great. And to whom do Portland's rent a mob of weirdo miscreants immediately lend their support? The police who are trying to apprehend the crazy lunatic and keep the locals safe? No, they side with the crazy lunatic because of course they do. Do not treat this man unfairly. You do not need that weapon, sir. 
Sir, you do not need that weapon. It is a mental health crisis. Hey, we know who the fuck each and every one of you are. Don't you fucking touch that man. I don't care hey, what hey, you hey, wish hey, for hey, anybody. Hey, hey. Oh. Yes, your presence here is absolutely Just don't. Yes, it is. No, especially you. Especially, especially you. You and I had a weapon. Do not fucking touch me. Back up, you please. You already got a fucking lawsuit right on there. You need to back off away from them. I just had enough of fucking with protesters. No, no, no. Civically responsible. They even provide beautiful public water fountains across the city. So heroin junkies can wash their needles. And she is drinking out of that too. And he just rinsed out a syringe in that water. Hell no. Progressive trendies in Portland just love refugees and migrants. The rally put on by Portland Racial Justice Congress focusing on speaking out against hateful rhetoric against refugees coming to the U.S., especially Muslims. Uh, except if you're migrating from California, in which case they hate your fucking guts and put stickers up everywhere saying you're not welcome. Portland's couple woke up to find hateful graffiti outside their home, telling them to move back to California. The couple woke up to find their car tagged with graffiti, which read, go back to California and get out of PDX. Their Rose City home was also spray painted with hateful messages. Demands that we let in all of the refugees, but wants to stop people moving to Portland, even though he's from Washington. So you might have an idea there about how Portland is. So where this was taken back in 2018, so it's old, right? This is old stuff. So nothing has changed since then. It's even became worse with socialists, communists, SJWs, and the so on shitbag patrol ever. Then comes 2020 with the George Floyd. And obviously, lots of people was able to be there for the Black Lives Matter stuff, the Antifa, Black Lives Matter, George Floyd, we know how that goes. And then the situation has just gone exactly how every city in America has gone, into complete fucking riots. And it's crazy, Portland just doesn't seem to care about it, because it started off as, says here, streets have been taken over in Portland, protesters are hit into downtown now and then moved on to mass militants ransacking the justice center in downtown portland many came prepared with chemicals to start fires and weapons to break windows i mean this is peaceful antifa um antifa militants in portland have moved on to the business district and shout expropriate while destroying the area now that's crazy. Expropriate is a word that's used by the socialists and the communists. And basically, in terms I didn't quite figure out till now, when they're making this video, means go out and take whatever you want and it'll be served for the union or something around those words. And it's a fucking joke. It's an absolute joke of a thing to be looking at. And they didn't stop there. They went to rioters of broken into Portland's main mall downtown and started looting the Louis Vuitton's uh, Lankow designer bags. They destroyed, they went in and destroyed all this Western stuff. They hate the West. And what happened after that got really, really disturbing. Because after that, it ends up going to the mall has been broken into, people are trying to loot in, they've started fires, things are going down, things are going nuts. And there was even this thing that happened to this young guy who was carrying an American flag and was beaten down to the ground like this. What the hell? Check this guy's face out. This is what you get for supporting America. This is what you get for being a patriot. This is what happens when you go against Antifa, the socialists, and so on. This guy is fucked. He needs medical care immediately. But when you look at the mayor, Tom Wheeler, Portland's mayor, doesn't seem to give a shit. Because he says, like in this article here, Ted Wheeler, the mayor, stands by decision to allow Antifa to block traffic. Why the fuck do you allow them to do that? And it, it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. Because he even goes as far as, you even go far out to say, oh, we should be in the same fear as black people. As they are to the cops. What the fuck? You have mobs in control of your city. They are in chaos. 
right now. This is how your city is run. This is not a good thing to become. And even continues with this stupid councilwoman that actually going out to say that white nationalists and white supremacists infiltrated peaceful protesters and riots in lockdown. Even going on to say that they were like wearing black and Antifa masks. What the fuck? These are definitely socialists. These people must live on a different universe. Do not realize what's going on to them. But they don't care because it's very progressive for them. Because everything is okay now because it's just a fucking shit show. And then things just start getting worse. It keeps getting worse. Mayor Taylor Wheeler on Friday discredited Portland police not using sonic warning tones to get out of control. That's 5G for anyone that's haven't figured that out yet. Um, there's dispersed clouds in the tail of the end of the night protest of the third day ban on tear gas in, like Seattle. I think you should just keep it going. Just use the weapons that you have at disposal. The police should be allowed to do whatever they want. Because it's not like the, the Ted has an, is an absolute socialist and doesn't care what the fuck is going on with his city. But it's alright, they go the progressive route too where they want to defund their own police department in Portland where that will be an absolute fucking disaster but goodness comes to the people that deserve it and the feds finally walked in and they were like you know what you guys are in complete shit and the mayor and the elected officials are just not doing anything to protect the city to protect the people of the city so we're gonna send the homeland security fed feds into the situation and the federation acting secretary Chad Wolf, what a name, uh, says the city of Portland is under siege for 47 days straight with iron mobs while local, while local political leaders refuse to restore order and protect the city and they're saying they're ready to stand with the violent activity the end. Obviously the mayor was not wanting this to happen or declining that they didn't want the DHS to be involved but it didn't matter anyway because they got involved anyway because it was fucking necessary. Uh, like it said, instead of addressing violent criminals, there are communities, local state leaders in stress that are focusing on blame on law enforcement and requesting fewer officers and acting secretary the least statement of visit of Portland, Oregon. Thank fuck. Because there was like multiple things that happened in the city. There was like six main things that happened. And this is Andy Nigo? Nigo. And he highlighted a few of these events here that caused way more damage than you'd think it would. There are so many things that happen and these stand out to me. And this are some depressing things to realize has actually happened. July the 4th, multiple individuals have been carrying rifles, including a driver of a vehicle who attempted to strike a Portland police blue officer. Okay, that's maybe okay. On July 7th, violent activists held a night of rage in which 400 to 500 person protests developed into riots assaulting law enforcement officers and federal property with rocks and bottles. July 10th, violent activists attempted to ambush the police department during their shift change but DHS team was deployed in the event of attacks. July 11th, law enforcement officer was assaulted with blows from a hammer. Violent activists Fault officers while they were while they were less than those responsible. July 12, another mob of 200 individuals armed with sledgehammers, tasers, and stun guns were gathered in Chapman Park. Don't know about you, but it kind of deserves this whole situation. How the city under 50 fucking days has gone to absolute anarchy, and there's so many things that's going wrong in that city right now. It's actually unbelievable. And they even bothered to attack the federal building, which was crazy. Why? I don't know. It's just unacceptable what's going on there. So that's why the Federation went in. But the mayor, Ted Wheeler, also decided to say, Oh, I don't like this. A number of people have asked why the DHS leadership in this town. And if it was going to be a meet with them, I'm aware, of they, I'm aware that they're here. But I wish they weren't. We haven't been invited to meet them. And if we were, we would decline. So your city's going to complete fucking ashes, destruction, mob rule, and probably the next version of Chop Chop Chichota you could ever think of. And D the DHS is there to protect order. 
and it actually brought some order back into what has been going on. But it's okay. They are now blaming Donald Trump for this. Donald Trump, the far-right Democrats, the people that wanted to be protected because Portland is no longer a city of democracy. It's a pol- it's a con- it's a city of mob rule. And he is here in a press conference today. Portland Mayor tweet blames Donald Trump for the Antifa riots in Portland when you endorse them all the fucking time. A reporter points out five lights were already happening five straight weeks before the DHS came, but that didn't matter anyway because it still didn't stop the BBC from saying the Portland protest federal agents abuse their power and arrests. No, they don't. They're using their powers as necessary to bring law and order back to the city. And it's crazy how things have gotten. Because even on the 50th day of violent protests in Portland, the Antifa shows here, Antifa and BIM attacked the front of the board in the federal courthouse, where the law enforcement responds, mayor, senators and governor calls, causing sentiment to violence against peaceful protesters. Yeah, they are definitely peaceful protesters when they are violently attacking buildings. And now, this could cause many problems. There's a video I'm going to show you next where this woman fuck knows where her head was going. If you watch my Instagram, or you might have seen this video already, but this woman goes in front of this federal building whenever this time was and takes a baby to the building. How fucking nuts. And they're saying, oh, we're here for peaceful protest where the police there are using lethal force to take anyone down who will go at them. Watch this. This girl has a baby over here. Literally has a baby on the federal property the way the soldiers have warned that they are going to use aggressive force. Do you realize how dangerous it is right here? Yeah, I know. Why do you have your baby here? Trying to promote peace. The baby's really liable to get really hurt. She should be able to get out here with her kid normally, right? No. Right. You gotta protect that baby. Babies have to be protected. The baby is well protected. You guys see the baby, right? The baby? This girl has a baby. And I hope. Nothing ever happened to that kid. I really don't want to know if it got damaged or anything, but that kid should not be there. That is really inappropriate for a mother to do that to any child to put in that dangerous situation alone. So, what's going on there in Portland was bound to happen, but it was it was way too late before it happened. There's even articles where Seattle was going to go in this direction, but they already had Chad and Chops, so... That's a video for another day. But this already talks about maybe this could be proposed to most of the American cities in the United States. Well, this article here says it can happen in Portland, it can happen anywhere in Oregon. So, this could happen in Oregon, this could happen anywhere. It doesn't matter where. And if the feds are going to come in, fucking like they should come in. Because the only way you're going to make order in that is to use the same forces that they're using it on the left's shock troopers. Violent means of necessary force is means back to them again. We don't want to be in a situation where they cause violent protests. But if this socialism is going to be the way they're going to go, well, that's fine. We're just going to give it to them like fucking hard in the light American and British way. Fuck you and we're out. But maybe I'm just racist. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, hail the empire.